When one thinks of otters, one can't help but note that above all else, they're simply so dang cute. That may be true of the giant otter's smaller relatives. But when it comes to savagery, no one comes close. And here's the kicker. They travel in gangs, like a mafia, and you wouldn't dare to enter their respective territory even if you're the most dangerous and cruel predators they'll get into. They didn't care at all. These giant otters may be cute, but they scare the crap out of alligators and even snakes when they're trying to attack them. Well, yes, crocodile, anaconda, and even jaguars are afraid with the giant otter. It's kind of difficult to process why some of the most dangerous and cruel predators in the wild are afraid of an otter, a gang of otters to be specific. Well, let's figure that out. And here's why. To start with, let's find out what kind of otters we're talking about. There are a lot of otters in the world, 13 to be specific. We have the Neotropical, Southern River Otter, Sea Otter, and on top of that, the Giant Otter. The Giant Otter is one of the most well-known creatures on the planet that can only be found in rainforests and rivers of South America. They are found along freshwater rivers, lakes, and streams. The sea otter is also a popular animal because of the attention it receives for being so distinct from the others in so many ways. However, all otter species are tiny in size and are quite lively and charming. You may even see them holding hands as they walk to the water's edge. This is why so many people like watching them and even taking pictures of them, as seen in social media. You otter know that different species of otter come in all shapes and sizes. The largest otter is the giant otter, which may grow up to six feet long and weigh up to 45 kilograms. And the heaviest otter is the sea otter, which can weigh up to 45 kilograms. Giant otters are significantly distinct from the rest of the otters, and they are sometimes mistaken for a separate species of mammals. They are the world's biggest otters a massive and fascinating creature. Otters are ruthless predators who, in most areas where they inhabit, are close to becoming the top predator. At all costs, they are highly territorial and aggressive. But how can you know whether you're in their territories? Simple, they sprint or mark their territory with the strong musky fragrance that they distribute on plants from the anal scent glands of both males and females. From there, you can already know if you're trespassing on their territory. This species is usually sociable, and it spends much of its time at night. Within a 7 to 12 square kilometer area, family groupings that comprise the breeding couple and up to four young hatched in previous seasons may nest and hunt together. Although the male is bigger, still the female would lead the group. These creatures are active at all times of the day and night, hunting in groups. When swimming slowly, they utilize all four paws to doggy paddle. But when swimming quickly, it tucks its shorter front paws in and propels itself with its webbed hind feet and tail. And they conceal their ears and nose underwater. And this is another advantage against its predator who can't stay long in the water. Grooming, joint hunting expeditions, relaxation, and continual communication are all part of these extended family groupings social interaction. Predator alerts and contact calls are thought to be among their up to nine vocalizations. Otters will engage in periscoping activity, which involves raising their heads and necks out of the water to expose the distinctive white throat markings that may be used to identify individuals. Young otters will stay with their family groups for around three years before going on to find a partner and establish their own territory. They go upstream in a V formation when fishing. They spend most of their time foraging in water. They consume small fish whole, but they bring huge fish to shore. They spend the nights in dens dug in dense foliage, among rocks or beneath tree roots. They communicate with each other and with other animals through using smell. They also utilize vocalizations such as whistles, whales, and chirps to communicate. This species is closely related to ferrets, badgers, and mink. But it is not related to beavers, despite the fact that it's sometimes confused for them.
they have a vague resemblance to skunks. Otters, like beavers, monkeys, and apes are highly cognitive animals, capable of creating and using strategies. These animals' defense against some invaders appears to be cooperative, and each species plays an essential part in the maintenance of their territory. Females establish vigilance groups, whereas adult males exhibit aggressive defense. Giant otters, like most other otter species, come ashore to give birth. Females go underground to give birth to one to six offspring in their dens. Young otters stay in the den for a month, but swiftly mature. It's impossible to differentiate mother from child after about only nine or 10 months. In fact, these otters are classified as super predators, meaning they're at the top of the habitat's food chain. The health of the ecosystem in which this animal lives is reflected in its condition. Giant otters are opportunistic because they adapt to their surroundings and devour the available species. The captive specimens consume a percentage of food that goes around 10% of their body weight per day. They hunt alone or they can hunt in groups, often in concert, and must be successful frequently in order to achieve their own daily intake requirement. Each animal may consume between six and nine pounds of food each day, and other river animals support the fish population. Giant otters use their keen vision to hunt for food, preferring to catch motionless fish in shallow waters. They pursue their victim in a frantic and scandalous manner, with powerful assaults and water twists as hallmarks of the process. For a majority of the time, hunting is successful. Giant otters strike from above or below the water, gripping their prey firmly in their jaws. Immediately after hunting, they consume their prey, devouring it starting from the head and holding it with their front legs firmly. Giant otter defeats and eats a crocodile. Killing a strong gator by a cute-faced mammal? Wildlife is full of unexpected twists and turns. And what are the chances of a river otter taking on such a deadly animal? Check out the Wellington Zoo if you ever find yourself in Wellington. It's pretty lovely, and the animals are well cared after. The first animals you see are a couple of the most adorable otters you've ever seen. They splash in the water and eat crabs and fish for meals as they gallop about their habitat. I'm not sure whether they've ever seen a crocodile before, but this otter clearly has and has a liking for them. A family of these critters was spotted wrestling a crocodile. Not the best choice for these little mammals, one might imagine. However, it turns out that otters are fiercely territorial and will not hesitate to chase much larger predators out of their territory. These smooth-coated otters are pestering a rival and posing a danger to their safety. Top predators do this to each other, and otters are occasionally the ones that flee. The otters encircle and torment the crocodile. Despite being outmatched by the reptile's lethal jaws, the nimble otters were able to chase the apex predator away and safely traverse to the other side of the marshes. That's a great approach mounted on the gator's back with fangs into the neck. Apart from their fangs and demeanor, otters are extremely clever, which comes in handy when facing and mobbing a crocodile. This otter is clearly on some steroid medication. This would be a very frequent event anywhere they cross paths with alligators. Even still, this is impressive. It's not a little alligator. Perhaps three or four years old and measuring five feet in length? If that's a male otter, it might be 30 pounds. <laughs> that's a fearless animal. Anaconda versus otter. Anacondas like marshes, bogs, and slow moving streams to call home. This big, gorgeous snake may grow to be as long as a school bus with a length of over 30 feet. Among the four kinds of anaconda in the world, this gigantic anaconda is one of the biggest. While the giant otter is a deadly predator, a fully grown anaconda would undoubtedly have a massive size advantage. Giant otters in the water. Jaguars should think twice. When otters are present, even the jaguar a flexible feline that climbs trees, travels stealthily through woods, and doesn't perceive water as a barrier, thinks twice about crossing a river. 
Drinking water around them may be a difficult, worrisome, and difficult chore. In the heat of the day, the jaguars, who had been resting on a dry trunk on the banks of Carrizo Negro, decided to descend the trunk to the water line to satisfy their thirst. But even before they drank the water, they were faced by the bald otter, who constantly surprised the sisters with rapid dives between the submerged branches. <laughs> what a clever creature. With the distinctive vocalizations of huge otters, this guy made it obvious he ruled the Pantanal's submerged territory. If one of the jaguars fell into the river, it would very certainly be eaten by the otters. Otters have incredibly keen teeth. A large number of components will be strewn about. It's more like a lion's kill than a snake's. If there's a mated pair or young otters around, they'll grab some as well. For otter pups, it's an excellent education. Once on the beach, it will rip off portions of the hide to get at the intestines and flesh, the good stuff, inside. Otters are naturally peaceful creatures who like to keep to themselves. They'll fight if required, although they aren't known for attacking without warning. Nonetheless, it is preferable to view them from afar in their native environment. They may have been at the top of the food chain, but they still pose the biggest threat from humans, which due to their friendly and curious nature, readily approach humans, making them more susceptible since they trade their skin and are killed in an inappropriate way. Otters aren't typically thought of to be fierce animals, but they can handle a fight when necessary. What do you think of these giant otters and jaguars squaring off? There you have it. Giant otters are the beast that snakes, alligators, and even jaguars are afraid of. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video.